Today I'm doing a review on the Triangle Tube MF260 Titanium Heat Exchanger. Titanium is recommended for salt water use or chlorine use. I'm actually using a completely fresh water pool, but that's a whole separate discussion. Um, I found this option more efficient and space saving than adding a dedicated pool heater. As you can see, I ran the pool pipes into my garage, which uh, happens to back up right next to my pool equipment. With the pool water coming in, I have uh, two isolation valves, right and left. I have a flow sensor, so that the thermostat can know not to call for heat unless there's water flowing and the pool pump is running. Over here, I have the, uh, the well-based hydrometer to get temperature. And then I ran the blue PEX to, to basically another heating zone. Here is the valve. And <clears throat> there's the other end of the zone, the supply end. And uh, I ran the thermostat to the Taco to control the valve and the pump. And if I just step back a bit, you can see the entire setup. Um, so far, uh, it really hasn't raised my heating bill too much. Oh, my gas bill. This is the only thermostat I could really find that can handle the reading the well-based thermometer and, um, and able to take a feed from the flow sensor so that I don't run the heat unless, uh, unless the actual pool pump is pumping, that's key. And that's, that's the reason I ended up picking this system. So thermostat coming in, flow sensor coming in, and then um, control going back out to the Taco to turn the heat and the pump on. Pretty, pretty simple and reliable setup. As you can see, the pool pump is running right now. So I'm getting a system pool temperature of 77 and a target of 75. So based on that, I'm not running any heat because today's not really a nice enough day to go swimming anyway. All right, thank you guys. Um, please like the video and subscribe.